Introduction Students, we are given two points labeled as A and B. We can draw a line using a straight edge or a ruler. What we need to do is to find a pattern on how points A and B are related. One way to think about it is to describe how to go from point A to point B by recording our movements. What are these movements, ma'am? We can see that the up movement is positive while a down movement is negative. In the same manner, a right movement is positive while a left movement is negative. Notice that to go from points A to B, we went two units upward and then three units to the right. A slope of a line represented by letter M is expressed as up or down movement divided by the right or left movement. Teacher, can you please explain us slope of the line? Yes. Come, I will tell you about the straight lines and the slope of the line. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Understand the basics of coordinate geometry Explain slope of a line Explain angle between two lines Understand collinearity of three points Understand horizontal and vertical lines Write point slope form and two point form Basics of Coordinate Geometry Cartesian Coordinate System To represent an ordered pair A, B, we take two reference lines which are mutually perpendicular. The ordered pair A, B represents in such a plane by a point PA, B such that OA is equal to A and OB is equal to B. This system is called Cartesian coordinate system. Distance between two points. The distance between two points AX1, Y1 and BX2, Y2 is length AB is equal to square root of X2 minus X1 square plus Y2 minus Y1 square. Section formula. The coordinates of the point which divide a line segment Joining the points x1, y1 and x2, y2 internally in the ratio m is to n are given by The coordinates of the point which divide a line segment joining the points x1, y1 and x2, y2 externally in the ratio m is to n are given by If the point is the midpoint of AB, then it divides AB in the ratio 1 is to 1, so its coordinates are x is equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 and y is equal to y1 plus y2 by 2. This formula is called the midpoint formula. Area of a triangle. If the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle ABC are AX1, Y1, bx2, y2 and cx3, y3 then the area of triangle is given by modulus of 1 by 2 multiplied by x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 or 1 by 2 determinant first row x1, y1, 1 Second row, x2, y2, 1. Third row, x3, y3, 1. Examples of basics of coordinate geometry. Example, find the distance between the points 6, minus 4 and 3, 0. Solution, the distance between the points 6, minus 4 and 3, 0 is 5 units. Example, find the ratio in which line segment A2 minus 1 and B5 2 is divided by x-axis. Solution, 
let x axis intersect line at point p x y such that a p by b p is equal to lambda is to one. It implies y is equal to zero. It implies lambda y two plus y one divided by lambda plus one is equal to zero. It implies two lambda plus minus one by lambda plus one is equal to zero. It implies lambda is equal to one by two. It implies a p by b p is equal to one by two is to one. Slope of a line, slope or gradient of a line. If theta is the angle at which a straight line is inclined to the positive direction of x-axis, then m is equal to tan theta. Zero is less than or equal to theta. Is less than one eighty degrees. Is the slope of the line. The slope of a line whose inclination is ninety degrees is not defined. Slope of a line when coordinates of any two points on the line are given. If p x one y one and q x two y two are coordinates of any two points on a line, then its slope is m is equal to y two minus y one by x two minus x one is equal to difference of coordinates by difference of abscissae. Conditions of parallelism. And perpendicularity of lines in terms of their slopes. Suppose that non-vertical lines L1 and L2 have slopes m1 and m2 respectively in a coordinate plane. Parallel lines. Two non-vertical lines L1 and L2 are parallel if and only if their slopes are equal. That is, m1 is equal to m2. Perpendicular lines. Two non-vertical lines L1 and L2 are perpendicular to each other if and only if their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. That is, m1 m2 is equal to minus one. Examples of slope of a line. Find the slope of a line which passes through the origin and the midpoint of the line segment. Joining the points P zero minus four and B eight zero. Solution: The coordinates of the midpoint of the line segment joining the points B zero minus four and B eight zero are four minus two. It is known that the slope, that is m, of a non-vertical line passing through the points x one y one and x two y two Is given by m is equal to y two minus y one by x two minus x one. X two is not equal to x one. Therefore, the slope of the line passing through zero, zero, and four minus two is minus two minus zero by four minus zero is equal to minus two by four is equal to minus one by two. Hence. The required slope of the line is minus one by two. Angle between two lines. When two lines intersect, the angle between them is defined as the angle through which one of the lines must be rotated to make it coincide with the other line. For example, the angle phi is the acute angle between lines L one and L two. Alpha two is equal to alpha one plus phi. Therefore, phi is equal to alpha two minus alpha one. From the slopes of lines L one and L two, as tan phi is equal to tan of alpha two minus alpha one. By using the trigonometric identity for the tangent of the difference between two angles, tan phi is equal to tan alpha two minus tan alpha one. Divided by one plus tan alpha one into tan alpha two, recalling that the tangent of the angle of inclination is the slope of the line. We have tan alpha one is equal to m one, that is the slope of l one. Tan alpha two is equal to m two, that is the slope of l two. 
such that m2 is greater than m1. Substituting these expressions in the tangent formula derived in the above discussion, we have tan phi is equal to m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m1 into m2. Also, tan phi is equal to tan of 180 degrees minus theta is equal to minus tan theta is equal to minus of m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m1 m2 as 1 plus m1 m2 is not equal to 0. If tan theta will be positive and tan phi will be negative, which means theta will be acute and phi will be obtuse. And if tan theta will be negative and tan phi will be positive, which means that theta will be obtuse and phi will be acute. The acute angle, say theta between lines L1 and L2 with slopes M1 and M2 respectively is given by tan theta is equal to modulus of M2 minus M1 divided by 1 plus M1 M2 as 1 plus M1 M2 is not equal to 0. Example of angle between two lines. The slope of a line is double the slope of another line. If tangent of the angle between them is 1 by 3, find the slopes of the lines. Solution. Let M1 and M be the slopes of the two given lines such that M1 is equal to 2M. We know that if theta is the angle between the lines L1 and L2 with slopes M1 and M2, then tan theta is equal to modulus of M2 minus M1 divided by 1 plus M1 M2. It is given that the tangent of the angle between the two lines is 1 by 3. Therefore, 1 by 3 is equal to modulus of m minus 2m divided by 1 plus 2m into m. On solving, we get m by 1 plus 2m square. Case 1. 1 by 3 is equal to minus m by 1 plus 2m square. On solving, we get m is equal to minus 1 or m is equal to minus 1 by 2. If m is equal to minus 1, then the slopes of the lines are minus 1 and minus 2. If m is equal to minus 1 by 2, then the slopes of the lines are minus 1 by 2 and minus 1. Case 2. 1 by 3 is equal to m by 1 plus 2m square. On solving, we get m is equal to 1 or m is equal to 1 by 2. If m is equal to 1, then the slopes of the lines are 1 and 2. If m is equal to 1 by 2, then the slopes of the lines are 1 by 2 and 1. Hence, the slopes of the lines are minus 1 and minus 2 or minus 1 by 2 and minus 1 or 1 and 2 or 1 by 2 and 1. Collinearity of three points. Look at this figure. Here the points A, B and C are collinear because they lie on the same line. Or we can say the three points are collinear if and only if slope of AB is equal to slope of BC. Let us solve an example to understand it better. Example. Consider the given population and year graph. Find the slope of the line AB and using it, find what will be the population in the year 2010. Solution Since line AB passes through points A, 1985, 92 and B, 1995, 97, its slope is 97 minus 92 by 1995 minus 1985 is equal to 5 by 10 is equal to 1 by 2. Let Y be the population in the year 2010. Then according to the given graph, line AB must pass through points C 2010 Y. Therefore, slope of AB is equal to slope of BC. 
1 by 2 is equal to y minus 97 divided by 2010 minus 1995. On solving, we get y is equal to 104.5. Thus, the slope of line AB is 1 by 2, while in the year 2010, the population will be 104.5 crores. Various forms of equations of line. Equation of x-axis. If the y-coordinates of each point on the x-axis is 0, and if PXY is any point on x-axis, then y is equal to 0. Equation of y-axis. As the x-coordinates of each point on the y-axis is 0, and if PXY is a point on y-axis, then x is equal to 0. Equation of a line parallel to y-axis. Let a line be parallel to y-axis at b distance a from the y-axis. Then, the abscissa, the x-coordinate, x is equal to b or x is equal to minus b. Hence, the equation of the line parallel to y-axis is x is equal to b or x is equal to minus b. Equation of a line parallel to x-axis. Let a line parallel to y-axis be at a distance a from the x-axis. Then, the y-coordinate, ordinate, y is equal to a or y is equal to minus a. Then, y is equal to a or y is equal to minus a is the equation to a line parallel to x-axis. point slope form and two point form the other format for straight line equations is called the point slope form for this one they give you a point x1 y1 and a slope m and have you plug it into this formula y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 example find the equation of the straight line that has slope m is equal to 4 and passes through the point minus 1, minus 6. Solution. Given m is equal to 4, x1 is equal to minus 1, and y1 is equal to minus 6. Plug these values into the point slope form and solve for y is equal to y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. Substitute the values in the above equation and then, on solving for y, we get y is equal to 4x minus 2, which is the required equation. Two-point form. We can find the equation of a line if we know any two points on it that are where x1, y1 and x2, y2 are the two given points. Example. Find the equation of the line joining the points minus 1, 3, and 4 minus 2. Solution. Equation of the line passing through the points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. Hence, equation of the required line will be x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Did you know? The straight line is one of the most basic concepts in geometry, next only to the concept of a point. Here are some facts about straight lines. A straight line is straight because any two segments on the line form 180 degrees angle with each other. The shortest path between any two points on a straight line is through the points connecting them on the line. The slope of a straight line measures how slanted the line is. Summary Let's summarize what we have learnt. Slope M of a non-vertical line passing through the points X1, Y1 and X2, Y2. If a line makes an angle alpha with the positive direction of X minus 
axis, then the slope of the line is given by m is equal to tan alpha. Slope of horizontal line is 0 and slope of vertical line is undefined. An acute angle between lines L1 and L2 with slopes M1 and M2 is given by provided 1 plus M1 M2 is not equal to 0. Two lines are parallel if and only if their slopes are equal. Two lines are perpendicular if and only if the product of their slopes is minus 1. Three points A, B and C are collinear if and only if the slope of AB is equal to slope of BC. Equation of the horizontal line having distance A from the x-axis is either Y is equal to A or Y is equal to minus A. Equation of the vertical line having distance B from the y-axis is either x is equal to B or x is equal to minus B. The point x, y lies on the line with slope m and through the fixed point x, 0, y, 0, if and only if its coordinates satisfy the equation y minus y, 0 is equal to m into x minus x, 0. Equation of the line passing through the points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is given by 